Hey guys, I wanted to make a very short video just to show you and make sure you knew how to use the gizmo. Um, it is called Fan Cart Physics. It focuses mainly on Newton's first and second laws, but uh, it does, it'll talk to you a little bit about Newton's third law, but don't, don't kind of freak out yet. We haven't covered that as in depth as we are going to, but we wait until we finish the second law before we give you this gizmo. Um, this is the little cart and you have some fans right here. You can grab a fan and put it on there and you turn it on down here. And this is supposed to be showing that the air would blow out this way from the fan and it would make the cart move the opposite direction. These are little masses. You can pretend they're whatever you want them to be. It could be a big old box of chocolate if you want, or it could be a box of dinosaur bones. It can be whatever you want to put in there. This turns on the vectors for velocity and acceleration. You don't have to turn those on. I just kind of like it. I think it's cool. Um, and so down here, you can see that they've set up kind of a number line for you, and it's showing the cart going from zero to 10, which is pretty nifty. And let's make our, let's press right here. We'll make our little cart move. There it goes. Ooh, there it goes. Okay. So the acceleration and the velocity vector are both pointed the same direction to the right. So that's showing me that it has accelerated. And uh, let's see, we can look at a graph and don't let this freak you out. X is just distance. Okay, it went 10 meters. There's our distance. See, it went 10 meters. And then obviously T is our time. And I think it says 7.1 seconds. Okay, so seven, right about there. Yep, there's my seconds. And remember on a, this is a distance time graph. And we talked about these motion graphs. Uh, at the beginning uh, of our unit. And remember that we said if you have a curved line on a distance time graph, it just shows acceleration. And that's what it did. All right. It just started out and sped up. I kind of wish we could see a ticker tape diagram for it, but there it is. Um, you also have up here a bar chart. So I'll press it. And again, I'll put the, uh, so you can see the numbers right here, but don't, don't let this bother you. The purple just shows you how far the cart went. That's it. So the cart went 10 meters. That's all it shows you. This V is velocity, but remember we said that a lot of times we use speed and velocity interchangeably, but velocity is speed with a direction. But notice our unit. I see meters per second. And what this is actually showing you is how fast was the cart going when it hit the wall? How fast was the cart going when it hit the wall over here? And then finally, so it was going 2.83 meters per second when it slammed into the wall. And then finally, right here is acceleration. And look at the unit. There's that squared term, meters per second squared. Remember what this means. It means every one second, the cart was going on average, it was going 0.4 meters per second faster. So it should have gone uh, 0.4 meters per second, and then it would have gone 0.8 meters per second, and then it would have gone 1.2 meters per second. And so that's what these are. This is just how far did it go? How fast was it going when it hit the wall? And what was its acceleration? Okay, what was its acceleration as it was doing that? Um, so I think, I'm not sure it ever asks you to look at the table. Um, I'm pretty sure just the bar chart and the graph should be all you need. I'm gonna reset it. Um, ooh, I'll take my little mask off there. Ooh, I wonder what happens if I put all three fans on there. Oh, it stacks them up. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I'm going to turn them all on. But I'm not going to put any masks on there. Woo! Okay. I'm going to click go for fun. Hit the wall. <laughs> Look at my graph. Okay. Um, that should get you started. Let me know if you have any questions.